guys, it's your girl Carrie. And wait a minute. It looks like my face is a different color than my shoulder. Well, excuse me for that, but the party must go on. Now my shoulder and arms are a lot lighter than my face or my legs because I rarely ever show them. But I am dressed for the day and I am not going to change in order to fix that. <laughs> and today I will be sharing my hostess gift guide and hostess etiquette tips. Now a hostess gift is a gift for a host or hostess to thank them for their hospitality. Now a hostess gift does not have to be elaborate or expensive. And in fact, it can be considered rude to give a host or a hostess an expensive gift because that can cause a little bit of uneasiness. Now a hostess gift by definition is something that a host or hostess would use while entertaining. And that can mean entertaining currently or something that they can use in the future. And it also can mean something that they can just use while entertaining themselves at home or entertaining others. Now when you give a host or hostess gift, there is no expectation that that gift must be used, consumed during that event. Actually, it's better to give them a gift that does not conflict or give them any ambiguity as to whether or not they should feel obliged to use it at that event. Now you might ask the question, when is it appropriate to bring a hostess gift? Because that can also cause some confusion. So here are a few guidelines when it is appropriate to bring a host or hostess gift. Now situation number one, you're going to your company Christmas party. You do not bring a hostess or host gift to your company Christmas party. You just attend and enjoy the company party. Likewise for an office party or anything like that in the workplace, you're not required to bring a host or hostess gift. Now let's say you're attending a potluck dinner. If you're attending a potluck dinner and you have to bring a dish or a, you know, a portion of the meal, then you do not have to bring an additional hostess gift. Your contribution to that evening's meal is your gift and that is your way of saying thank you to the host or hostess. Now if you want to give a gift, by all means, it is still appropriate to give a little something if that's what you want to do because it's a kind gesture and everyone likes gifts. So now an example of an appropriate gift or a gift idea that you might want to give your host or hostess if you're bringing a portion of a meal to like, let's say a potluck, is the dish. So whatever vessel you bring your food in, you can possibly leave that for the host or hostess so that they can use it in a future event. Now let's say a dinner party. There are a couple of types of dinner parties. So if you're invited to a dinner party and your host or hostess asks you to bring a bottle of wine but they'll provide all of the food, then your bottle of wine is your contribution to that evening's meal because you will be consuming it during the dinner party. So in that case, you do not need to bring an additional gift because you're bringing a bottle of wine. Now, if it's a dinner party where the host or hostess has everything taken care of from beginning to end, drinks, food, dessert, and everything, then you must bring a hostess gift. You never show up empty handed. Now, the next thing that people get hung up on or might be a little bit confusing when it comes to hostess gift etiquette is pricing. How much do I spend? Now remember earlier I said do not get something that's elaborate or expensive because it can be considered rude and it can make the host or hostess feel uneasy. Now you still probably thinking well what's considered expensive? What's a general price range? So I'm going to just give you general guidelines as to what price point you should be at and there are different price points for the length of stay. For example, if you're just coming over someone's house for the evening or the afternoon and you're going to be there for a few hours because you're attending maybe a Christmas cookie exchange or maybe a dinner party, 
then that what you would give that host or hostess would be completely different than if let's say you came over and stayed for the weekend at someone's home and then it will be a little bit more step up a little bit more let's say you and a spouse came over and stayed for the weekend then you would give a little bit more and then let's say the final category you and your family so let's say it was you and a family of four that came over and stayed in someone's home for the entire weekend from Friday to a Sunday, then your gift would be much more substantial than just you attending a dinner party. So the guidelines that I follow when just attending a dinner party, if it's just myself or myself and my significant other, $50 is the limit. You should not give a gift that costs more than $50. Now that does not mean you need to go out and get a $50 gift. $50 is the ceiling, that's the cap. You should not buy gifts that are more than $50. So anything from $1 to $50, as long as it's appropriate, thoughtful, practical, and useful, then it's fair game. The formula that I use if I'm going to do an extended stay at someone's home, let's say I'm staying for the weekend and I'm bringing my entire family. What you should do is figure out what it would have cost you if you would have had to stay in a hotel or some other sort of lodging. So let's say for a family of four, you stayed Friday night in a hotel, Saturday night, Saturday night in a hotel and checked out on Sunday. So two nights at a hotel, let's say it's about $100 per night and the entire family is going to stay in one room. You're not going to rent two rooms. You're gonna get two queen beds, your two kids are in one bed, you and your husband in another bed. So 200 bucks for lodging and then you need your meals for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so let's put in another $200, let's say $100 per day for your breakfast, lunches, and dinners for your family of four. So that's about 400 bucks for a weekend getaway, give or take for a family of four. So I would make sure that my gift that I'm going to give my hostess or host for hosting our family in their home is going to equate to at least 25% of what I would have paid if I stayed in a hotel. So in this case, 25% of $400 is $100. A $100 gift would be appropriate to give to that family for hosting our family for the weekend. So you might be thinking, okay, well, what can I give that family or what can I give my host or hostess that cost $100 that they would probably want? One of the things you can do, let's say you're staying with a family member, because a lot of times I do think family members get shortchanged because they think, oh, well, I'm just going over my sister's house. I'm going over my aunt's house and they take them for granted and, you know, don't really make them feel special. But if you're staying, let's say, at a family member's home, one of the things that you can do is chip in on the groceries. If you're bringing your entire family there and they're going to be eating all of their meals, you can do some of the grocery shopping and make your contribution uh, to the grocery bill and the food bill. If you're not um, able to contribute to the groceries because your hosting family already went shopping, maybe one of those meals you'll go out to eat and you pick up the tab for that uh, hosting family. That's one way that you can um, you know, say thank you for hosting you. Then also, if that's not an option, one of the best gifts that you can give someone that's hosted all weekend for family is a gift certificate for a maid service. It's awesome to have someone come into your home and clean it from top to bottom and put it back into shape and order after you have been entertaining for an extended period of time. And it's also appropriate for you to maybe give a family gift. So if you came and stayed with someone's family and they also had a family, let's say they had children as well, you can give a family gift so that everyone can enjoy the gift. Uh, the, everyone in the hosting family can enjoy the gift. And one of the great things that I know that everyone in my family enjoys are things like edible arrangements or Sherry's berries, the chocolate covered berries. You can have those delivered to the host or hostess's home. After you've left, you just give them a you know handwritten note and have the Sherry's Berries or the edible arrangements or something from like Dean and DeLuca sent to their home. Now, what are some hostess gift idea options for just going to a dinner party? What can I bring for a dinner party or just a 
Christmas cookie exchange or something like that. An event that I'm only going to be at for a few hours. I'm going to turn the camera around and here on my uh, foyer table, I have a bunch of gift items displayed and we're going to go through some of those gift items and I'll just share with you my thoughts on how and why I pick those items and what the price points are and then also anything that I can actually link I will link in the description box below just in case it's something you may be interested in purchasing for someone this holiday season. So I am going to turn the camera around. Now one of the things that I am currently loving and obsessing over are these sensational scented wax warmers that you just plug in. They're plug-in scented wax warmers. And this is what they look like. You just plug that into your wall and you can turn it on or off. When you turn it on, it actually becomes a night light and the light heats up the wax and the wax melts and it gives off a beautiful aroma. And then you just pair it with whatever scent that you like. And here I have just this lavender vanilla and this is really calming in the bedroom. And this is great, you know, for a guest bedroom. If you're, you know, you're entertaining, you have overnight guests, you can put that in there. And this is also a great option if you don't want to give a candle because some people don't like candles. They don't like the, you know, um, fumes that burn off a candle. This is great because you can just put, you know, essential oils in here and have them diffused throughout the room. So you can pick something like this up from Walmart and this is only $10. Another great gift are gifts that are used in the restroom. Now we all know when we're entertaining, the restroom is one of the most frequently used places for our guests. And I love this. If you've heard of um, poopery, this is similar to poopery, but I just love the way this bottle looks. It's just a little more elegant and upscale, and it's called Pouquet, like a bouquet of flowers, but it's Pouquet. And this scent here is French lavender. Now, my current flavor of the moment is lavender scented things. I'm absolutely obsessed with lavender everything, and this smells awesome now they have a bourbon vanilla scent one and that will be very good for a man if you're giving a host gift if you're looking for something for a man but this is a really nice bottle and i left a price tag on it it's 4.99 so that will be great to put in a bag along with maybe some hand towels for the bathroom to wipe your hands off also another great gift and I'm absolutely loving this. I have this in all of my bathrooms right now. Is this lavender geranium hand soap and this smells so 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 good. And you can give that, you can pair it with, you know, the bouquet. That would be a great um, gift to give as a host or hostess gift. Another great gift to give is a candle, and this is a beautiful candle that I picked up on clearance last year, and this is the Rosemary Pine Scent, and it smells awesome, and it's perfect for the holiday season, the festive season, and it's great when you can pick things up off season. Like I say, I always try to get nice things off season. So this candle typically runs about 50 bucks, but I got it for $12 because it was on clearance because the season was over. And one of the things you want to think about when you're giving gifts, hostess gifts, if they're a seasonal gift, for example, rosemary pine is not a scent that you would use all year long. It's a limited time that you would actually use this scent. So if you're thinking about giving this to someone, you want to make sure that they have time to use it during that season. So this is something you would give maybe around Thanksgiving if you were going to a Thanksgiving uh, event or something early on in the winter season so that they can use it throughout Christmas and maybe, you know, January and February. But if you're going to something like, let's say, a Valentine's Day party or something later in the season, giving a candle that is seasonal would probably not be the best idea. Keep your timing in mind. So in that case, I would stay away from the seasonal candles if the season is almost over and get something that can be used year round. This is a beautiful container, beautiful jar, and this is like a vanilla scent, like a bourbon vanilla, and it can be used all year round. Now, if you're going to be bringing alcoholic beverages as your 
hostess gift or host gift to an event, I would suggest to make it a little bit more fun and special is to pair an inexpensive accessory with that item. So for example, if you were going to bring some craft beers or something like that, I would also bring a bottle opener so that you can actually open your beer. And since the holidays just passed, and we had this out on our beverage display table. Cute little wishbone bottle opener. You just stick your you know, bottle top in there and pop that right off your beer. So that's something cute you can add if you bought a gift of beer. If you bought a gift of wine, you can bring a cute little wine opener. And this one on the one side, it says wine down. And on the other side, it says, wind me up. Can you see that? You can also get something that's useful like a foil cutter. And I don't know if you're familiar with what a foil cutter is, but if you had a bottle of wine, all wines, here's the foil wrap that's on the wine. The foil cutter, what you do is sit that on top of the bottle and it has a, and it has a blade and it has a blade in there and you just twist it and it, makes a permanent cut around the top of the foil. You pull that back and you can get to the cork. And these are very inexpensive. And I love the price on that. It's $3.99. So that will be a great gift to pair with your wine, especially if your host doesn't have one. Because lots of times people just use a knife or something like that just to rip the foil um, off the bottle. Another great gift to bring with a bottle of wine is a cute wine coaster. And I like this one because this one you can put in the freezer or refrigerator to chill. It has that insulation where it holds the coldness so it'll keep your bottle of wine chilled. And you can just put it on the section of, uh, and it's sectioned out in different names of wines, the different types, and you just turn it to the type that you have and put your bottle of wine in it. I just think this is so adorable. Now, if you're bringing a bottle of um, alcohol, how fun would it be to purchase some name tags, your alcohol name tags that go on your um, decanters? And this one has rum, vodka, gin, and then I have another tag that says whiskey, but it's somewhere over there. Or if you don't want to do the uh, or if you don't want to do the metal tags, you can also do a beautiful leather tag. This will be great for a host, you know, a host gift. A man would really like something like this, and it's, you know, engraved in gold that says scotch. And then we have the one that says bourbon, and there's also another tag that says whiskey. Another great accessory for a drink add-on are some cute coasters, and these are also great for a woman or a man, this can be great for a manly drink. Pair those with those leather um, name uh, tag holders for the drinks. And this one, salute, cheers, drink up, bottoms up. And I'm just sharing some male options because a lot of times you say, hey, Carrie, what would you get a man? This is something you can get a man. My final add-on accessory for a um, drink option host or hostess gift is wine away and this is a red wine stain remover and again this will definitely come in handy when you're entertaining because a party is not a party until someone knocks something over breaks something or spills something so you want to have this handy and it's not only good for wine but you can also move coffee stains blood stains fruit punch ink and sports drink stains and I love this stuff and I'll have the link uh, in the description box below. Another great option are things for your kitchen. You can pack an apron, you can give an apron to your hostess, and you can also give, you know, just kitchen towels. And I love these festive ones right here. They say, all the jingle ladies, all the jingle ladies. It's a play on the Beyonce, all the single ladies songs. And I pick these up for myself, but again, this will be perfect for someone that loves Beyonce as well. So all the jingle ladies, hand towels or something that's personalized for the person that will be hosting your event. Another accessory that could go along with a candle if they already have candles. Again, you guys know I love a beautiful 
candle lighter so you can just bring a candle lighter entertaining books are also a wonderful uh, gift idea for a host or hostess and this is the hostess diary and this is super cute because it just has uh, little tidbits about hosting in there and then also has a ton of blank pages that uh, allow you to talk about the occasion your guest list your menu and your shopping what you need to prepare ahead and some notes. This is just a wonderful cute book that you can give your hostess and I would include a nice little pin to go with that. Another great book is the napkin folding kit and I love this book. I picked up several of these books years ago and I've slowly been giving them out and now I'm down to my last one and this is the one I'm going to keep for myself but this napkin folding kit it has a book in here with all different types of napkin folds and the instructions on how to fold them and in this side they have a napkin that you can practice with now the way i would give this gift is to give the book and then i would also pair it with a set of 12 standard napkins probably white or off-white napkins and that would make a great gift now my next type of gift are gifts that you may want to give an entire family if you went over and you were invited to a family event um, a gift that everyone in the family could use and a great thing could be games like families like games or if you were invited to a game night or a Christmas game night it would be great to give a game as a hostess gift and this is a game out here a new one out that's called what do you meme and this is an adult party game for people that love memes have not tried this yet we're going to be trying it this holiday season and you see it's still kind of wrapped up but it's basically um, a game about memes. Another great game gift that you can give so that the entire family can use are some of the classic games. Family, over the years, we've collected all of the classic games and we've collected games that can actually be put out like display pieces, like they're pieces of decor. And this is just a beautiful wooden Monopoly game. We have all of the classics. I think there's Clue, Monopoly, and Jenga. And they come in these beautiful wooden boxes. We have a beautiful Scrabble like this as well. This would be an awesome gift to give to a family. Keeping up with the game night theme or game theme, if your guests know that you absolutely love certain games, they can bring you a hostess gift that represents that game. And this, these here are some cute little Scrabble mugs that have... Um, our initials and then also a Scrabble scorekeeping pad and again this is just really something nice everyone knows that my husband and I love 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 to play Scrabble so this would be a great gift to give the same thing with Monopoly you can get mugs in a Monopoly game for the entire family to enjoy if you kind of stayed over you know the weekend or you went to a family event and we have several mugs uh, for our entire family. If we wanted to do game night, we could put together some hot chocolate and our whole family could enjoy a game of Monopoly. And some final game options. And as you can see, my family is really into games. And if you followed me for any time, you know we love, 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 love cards. And our family game of choice is spades. So it will be great to just have some you know, plates, you can put your snacks and, you know, little foods and appetizers on that if you're hosting game night or a spades party. This will be a great appropriate gift to bring a hostess on game night. And then also you could do something like this as well. You could have your salt and pepper dice shakers. How cute are these? These are adorable. And then you can pair that with a nice little decorative metal jack, an oversized jack, your dice and jack. And that can just sit in a game room or a space in your host or hostess's home. But again, you have to know your host. I wouldn't bring these game items unless it was a game night or if you knew they absolutely loved games. And another safe option would be just a salad service set. I think this is really beautiful. And our final uh, section uh, for options are cheeses. Lots of times we bring cheese platters or charcuterie platter to an event and you have your cheese options or cheese accessories. And I recently spotted these in Michael's and fell in love. Do you guys see that? These are copper 
cheese labels and this is another beautiful gift it looks rather expensive but you can get again shop off season shop on clearance i picked this cheese knife set up for eight bucks from home goods it was originally 16.99 and typically goes for 24 bucks and it has three different types of knives in it it has your soft cheese knife your uh, cheese slicer and your cheese spreader and what's nice about it is that in the top of the box it'll give you a description if you're not familiar with your different types of cheese knives this is a soft cheese knife and the holes and the holes in the cheese knife helps with uh, the sticking so that your soft cheeses like a brie won't stick to it this here is just a cheese slicer and it slices those harder pieces of cheese in the little notch you can just poke down pick up the cheese and you know serve it and this is just a spreader and this is how the set looks. It's just really, really beautiful. And then the final gift item would just be a nice platter or a board. So if you wanted to put some cheeses and crackers and things like that and just make like a nice gift basket for your uh, host or hostess. And that would be great if you did an overnight stay or something like that because putting together an entire like cheese board with a cheese knife set and some uh, you know cheese uh, labels that is going to probably run you more than that $50 range but that would make a really beautiful special elegant gift now here is my final hostess gift that I'm going to share host or hostess gift with you and you may not think of this and this is a very practical gift and this is something that every host or hostess will say wow i never thought of that but i definitely can use that and that is folding chairs you can if you go to someone's home every year or for whatever event you can just bring a couple of folding chairs each time and then over time they will have their collection of folding chairs built up because how many times have you been to someone's home and there's not enough seating it's perfect to have extra folding chairs and actually to have some nice uh, coordinating. All of them are, you know, uniform and it just looks cohesive and nice. So just purchasing a couple of black chairs or whatever the color scheme may be and giving those as gifts, especially if you're coming to an event that is going to um, have a lot of people, like maybe a game night or something like that. And the host may say, hey, BYOC, bring your own chair or, you know, help out with the chairs if they're not renting chairs you can bring a chair and leave it and each time you come you just have a couple of chairs until they built up their stash and these are easily you know can easily be stored away if you have a home with a garage you can put them in the garage these are slim enough to stack underneath a bed if you have a spare bed so chairs folding chairs are definitely not the most sexy um, host or hostess gift but a very practical one now a couple of other fun items that um, I did not have on my display to be able to share with you. And another great gift is a gift for um, that person that you know, and you probably have to you know think of this ahead of time, that, that person that you know you always invite to one of your events and they cut up and they act up. When it's their turn to host, you make sure you give them a host or hostess gift of apology cards. And what apology cards are, are cards that in advance just says, I'm sorry for, and then they write down the infraction that they did and the date and then they send that along with an apologetic gift, a gift of apology to whoever they offended when they attended that person's event. I think that's an awesome hostess gift. Now there are a couple of gifts that you do not want to give as hostess gifts. And those gifts are ornaments. Like you really don't want to give a hostess a ornament as a, a hostess gift around the holidays because their Christmas trees typically are personal and unless you know that they collect specific ornaments and they get one every single year to put on their tree that's such a personal item and if you don't know their personal taste um, it's something that they're probably not going to use. So I would stay away from gifting any kind of ornaments. Also soaps. I would not give um, 
you know, bad soaps, and that's what I'm referring to. Because again, you don't know the sensitivities of people's skin and things like that, so I would not give the gift of uh, bath soaps or anything, or shower gels or anything like that, that would have a fragrance. Also, you shouldn't give the gift of flowers. Flowers are an inappropriate gift to bring to the actual event. Um, because again, it may require the host or hostess to do some additional work and that's the last thing you want to do for a, uh, to give a host additional work, having to cut the flowers, find the vase to put it in, things like that. And it may not go with her color scheme or the theme that she set up for that night. So do not bring flowers as a host um, or hostess gift, but it is appropriate. The exception to that is if you wanted to send a bouquet of flowers or a nicely arranged uh, flowers the day after the event to show your appreciation or if you stayed over the weekend or something like that and you wanted to send a gift of flowers and have flowers delivered to their home. So that is an exception to the rule. And then unless you know your host's or hostess's personal style, I would stray away from home decor items because again, if you don't know their style, it's not appropriate to give them uh, home decor items. And then finally, how do you receive a host or hostess gift? So when someone is giving you a hostess gift, here are some tips. If you're the uh, person that's giving the gift, when you arrive at that person's home, you want to make it discreet. You don't want to make an announcement. You don't want to like, you know, bring your gift in so that everyone can see that you're giving the host or hostess a gift. When you when your host or hostess answers the door, you discreetly say, you know, let's just say um, our host name is Tiffany. You just say, hey Tiffany, I just got you a little something because I wanted to thank you for hosting this event. I can't wait to get inside to meet everyone. Just, you know, put this aside and open it up later. And, you know, do your smooches, smooches, give them a kiss, head on inside. That's what you want to do. And then that will alert the, alert the hostess to know, because maybe they never received a hostess gift before, that they're not to open it at that time. They're supposed to open it later when everyone else is gone. And that is just being thoughtful and mindful of your other guests, because there will definitely be other guests there that did not bring something. And you don't want to make them feel bad or uneasy for not bringing something. And that leads me to the next point. Whatever gift that you give try to make it small don't come in with some humongous gift that it's impossible for the hostess to hide or discreetly put away you want them to be able to just take it and move it somewhere else unless it's like I said a potluck a dinner or a dish that everyone's going to share but you're going to leave the dish as a gift then that's okay um, but just a regular gift you want to make sure that it's small enough so that they can kind of discreetly um, put it away Way. And then for the hostess, it is in bad taste or poor taste to announce anything. I know you may be excited and say, oh wow, I got this gift, and you want to share, but it do not. It's inappropriate to bring the gift to the rest of the uh, participants or the rest of the guests and say, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Look what Fairy Carrie gave me. I am so excited. Do not do that. Uh, because again, that will put your guest um, you know, in an uneasy place. It's just something that you should have privately. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found the information useful. Be sure to head on over to my website, fairycarry.com and just sign up and subscribe to be a member because I will be sending out a newsletter this month with little tidbits and things on entertaining. And for those of you who do not know, on my website, I also offer a uh, hostess boot camp training 101 course, and then also some printables uh, that help you along with your hosting for the holidays and not just for the holidays, but just hosting in general. So head on over there at verycarry.com, sign up to be a member and browse around and see if there's something there that you would like to purchase. And until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys.